former patient is now suing Memorial Hermann Hospital for what he calls deceptive trade practices. New tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Jessica Willey is live to explain the dispute. Jessica. Yeah, Alona, the former patient filed a counterclaim, actually, in response to what Memorial Hermann Hospital filed against him. He says he thought he was on track to pay a reduced medical bill, but then he was served. Well, I remember the car running over me and my bones snapping, and after that, the lights went out. It was an accident that's changed his life. I had nine fractured ribs, two collapsed lungs. Ignacio Alaniz was working underneath his stalled car last year when it started and ran over him. He spent a month at Memorial Hermann Hospital undergoing treatment. They saved his life, and for that, I'm very grateful. And then the bills came, followed by a lawsuit. 400 something thousand dollars. I know going to cost that much. While Alanese was hospitalized, his longtime girlfriend, Teresa Malone, was talking to hospital staff about payment options so he wouldn't have to transfer. Alanese had a job, but no health insurance. But she said, you know, we've got a charity that can help people in these kind of situations. Malone says she paid $100 to show good faith, applied as a charity case, and waited. She never returned my calls. Last December, the hospital sued Alanese to recover the unpaid medical bills. He sued right back. We believe they deceived this family into staying there, and that's why we wanted to make uh, the point of, of countersuing. In response, Memorial Herman told us only, quote, we can't comment on pending litigation. Here you have a patient that owed close to $500,000 may end up pocketing some money because Memorial Herman started the fight. Alanese, who still needs physical therapy, never wanted a fight in the first place. I know they're going to cost me the rest of my life just for them saving my life. And the hospital hasn't yet answered the counterclaim. According to court records, the case is set to go to trial here at the civil courthouse in October. Live in downtown tonight, Jessica Willie, 13 Eyewitness News.